Hi, I'm Monica Healy from Pregnancy Chat. Today I want to talk a little bit about serum screening blood tests. Early in the pregnancy, you had blood work done with your doctor. That blood work was done to see your level of health. For instance, if you're low in iron or what kind or what type of blood that you have, whether you're RH negative or RH positive. That's not the blood work that we're going to concentrate on, on in this video. The serum screening blood test is just that. It's just a screening test. It is not a diagnosis. This screening helps identify those babies that may be at risk uh, for an abnormality such as Down syndrome or spina bifida. This is done very specifically between about 15 and 18 weeks of pregnancy. It's always really a good idea to discuss this test before it's performed. Discuss it with your doctor and with your partner because you have to, you have to be sure of what you're going to do with the results once you get them. Sometimes they're normal, sometimes they're abnormal, and you'll want to have all this established well in advance. Some centers offer a double test, and this measures two substances in the mother's blood. Other centers offer a triple test, and it measures three substances. In our opinion, the quadruple test is the most accurate test because it measures the substance, four substances in the mother's blood. Those four substances that are looked at is first, alpha feta protein, which is a protein that's produced by the fetus. Free beta HCG, and we've talked about this before in other videos, is a, known as the pregnancy hormone, and it's produced within the placenta. Estriol is an estrogen that is produced by the placenta, and then inhibin A is produced by the placenta and the ovaries. Different levels of these substances in the mother's blood give us important information about the health of the baby. It's a very simple procedure. Uh, the doctor takes a bit of blood from your arm. It's sent off to the laboratory to be analyzed. It sometimes can take several days. When the results come back, it's not just the blood results that we, we look at. We also have to consider the age of the mother and the ethnic background and very important, the gestational age of the baby. Often tests that are abnormal simply boil down to the fact that the baby's gestational age was different than what the mother originally thought. For instance, the, substance, the level of the substances for a 15-week fetus will be different than a fetus that's 17 or 18 weeks. So gestational age is very important. Now, what mothers would want to have this test done? Well, mothers that are over the age of 35, moms that may have had uh, a history of a baby with a, a problem, moms that have used drugs or medications when they didn't know that they were pregnant, and some mom, moms have had viral infections such as toxoplasmosis or rubella or cytomegalovirus. Uh, so these, uh, these would be good reasons to have the quad uh, test done. When the results come back, what do we do with the results? Well, if the results are abnormal, sometimes we can take a conservative approach, repeat the blood test and do uh, a detailed ultrasound to check the the physical parts of the of the baby because some of these abnormal results can mean that the baby has spina bifida that's where the spine has not completely closed at the back or that the baby's head has not uh, formed properly these can be picked up on an ultrasound other uh, things are things such as down syndrome they're a little more difficult to diagnosed by ultrasound so your doctor may suggest that you have a test called an amniocentesis. Now this is an invasive test and it also puts the baby at a little risk so that's why before you even do the blood test 
you have to discuss with your partner what decisions will be made if the tests come back and are abnormal. Things that you want to consider also is that you may have to prepare yourself uh, to, to have a baby with special needs and you may want to join support groups or get more information. You may have to consider renovations in your home for a child that may be disabled. You also may, may want to discontinue the pregnancy. These are poor, um, very important considerations for you in deciding whether or not you want to go ahead and have this test done. I hope that you found this helpful and please ask us lots of questions. Post on the forum below and thank you so much for listening.